What's up, everyone? My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music for the first time. And today is the return of Bloodborne? I should have looked this up. I don't remember if I've done Yeah, I think I have. I think I have. It's just been a while. Uh, we're going to be hearing two songs. It's called Omen. And the song is called Bloodborne as well. So I'm guessing it's the main theme. The channel is SIE Sound Team. And Lyra, requested by Alex J. I'm going to hear this version. This one was requested to me, and apparently it's a hybrid of Omen and the song Bloodborne together. And then I just kind of took it upon myself to hear Bloodborne by itself after that. So this one was part of, it was suggested to me as part of like the Halloween spooky vibe video I made. But since that video, I needed to cap it off because it was nearing 40 songs. Uh, I didn't I didn't include it, but I'm going to assume this is, you know, also going to be very spooky sounding. But since I had a lot of votes and, you know, some good reception, I decided to throw in a bonus for you guys. So, The Return of Bloodborne. I don't know how long it's been. I'll check in a second. This is... Oh, and composed by Ryan Amon and Penka Kuneva. This is Omen plus Bloodborne. This looks like a Children of Bodom album cover. Go on Google and search Children of Bodom something wild. I'm looking at the last time I checked. Bloodborne. year ago with the, the first hunter. I've only heard it twice before. The first hunter and Ludwig. Holy wait. Ooh. I wasn't expecting the vocal. than I thought it was going to be. This feels very dark. I know it's kind of a blanket term, but it just feels dark. Isn't this game like pretty dark in general, like the overtone and color palette? I thought this was a horror game at first until people started telling me that it's like this boss game. I don't know what Bloodborne is like classified under. I know it's like a. I think people call them like Souls Likes and stuff, but. Before that term was coined, what were they calling this stuff? I don't know when Bloodborne started and when Omen ended. But we're gonna find out soon, anyways. Sounds like a boss fight now. You know what I noticed? There's a lot of composers in from soft games. Like a lot of different ones. It seems like a series I would have. The same one over and over. I don't know why, it just feels like it. Okay, I'm guessing this is Bloodborne now. <laughs> So I'm guessing Omen is kind of like the main motif. Two. 
Dude. What octave was that? What note was that? I feel like that was a... Uh, was that an E note? They're gonna make me pull out my online piano here. Dude. Dude. Uh... Have you guys heard of the vocalist of Minnie Riperton, who has like that ex screeching high note? Mariah Carey can do it as well. The whistle note, I guess it's called. That was up there. That was clean. I'm going to go straight into the other one. The only the request is just for that video, but, you know, I figured I'd hear the actual just Bloodborne song to make sure which one is which. Uh, but that was that was pretty. That was dark sounding. OK. So, Bloodborne from the game, Bloodborne. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up my piano here. That's sick, that's such a sick. All right, I'm ready. If we hear it again, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to replicate it on this piano here. You'll hear it too. Okay, so it seems like Omen established the bass with this vocal. I wasn't expecting a vocal at all in this song. I think out of all the songs I've heard from Dark Souls, Elden Ring, and... I think Bloodborne might be the strongest so far. And I've only heard three songs. But I remember hearing Ludwig the Holy Blade and I still remember what that sounds like. Oh, this sounds this sounds so powerful, like it sounds like one of their big bosses coming towards you. Which I know this I've seen the game. But it's the main theme of the game, so I doubt it's a boss. Ooh, that's creepy. The little, the little volume swell. Ooh. This is a goosebump song. That's so impressive. We're gonna have to rewind to that part. Who is the singer? Oh, that must be Penka. Is that Penka Canova? Ooh. If that's the main theme of the game, yeah, that's a good start. <laughs> oh, hey. It couldn't make the VGM Vibe series, but that's okay. It's still We still get to hear it, you know? So. Maybe next year, but damn. Yeah, that's definitely its own creepiness. So before I even get to that note or something, <clears throat> again, just wanna reiterate, I had a bunch of suggestions, over 120 suggestions of spooky songs to go into my VG and Vibes 7 episode, which is all spooky themes of all kinds, comical, whimsical, horror, anxiety, even some like triggering kind of stuff, like, you know, spooky season. And this one was one of the one of the most voted. But at the time, you know, getting 120 down to like 25 votes and then getting 25 votes into like maybe a top five, it's super hard, not gonna make everyone happy. And not only that, the VGM Vibe series was me just choosing like 15 songs. And it's like every episode is getting bigger and bigger. I have to stop it at some point. Just to give you an idea, it was like 15 songs, 15 songs, then it went to 20. And then I just kind of lingered around 15 and 20. And then this episode was like 38 or something, you know? So I had to, I had to stop it. <laughs> I had to stop the bleeding for me because I was, it was so much work. Anyways, I could see, of course, why this would get voted. 
but damn, this is good. This is memorable. This is memorable. In the same way that the Holy Blade was memorable. The first time I heard Bloodborne was Ludwig the Holy Blade. And I still remember that. I still remember that. And I can't say that about every FromSoft stuff. You know, I've heard things here and there. But Bloodborne has this kind of rich, melodic structure to it. And I don't know. I just, I just kind of prefer it at the moment. Damn. Okay. So, uh, the only thing I'm confused on is, I would imagine something called Bloodborne would be either played at the very beginning or the end of the game. Possibly like a title menu or something. But I'm confused on where Omen comes in. So, I would only have to, if, I would have to imagine if Bloodborne plays at the beginning, then Omen would have to be like a cutscene at the beginning. The, was this game around the time? I don't know when this game came out. I know it was like 2000s something. I know it's very vague, but maybe it was still around the era of like intro movies of games, which I miss dearly. Or it's like Omen plays at the beginning and then Bloodborne plays like as soon as you start the game or something. I don't know. Either way, that's a really strong, you know, to have a song named after the entire game, it's it doesn't happen all that often here. I can't even think of that many examples that I've done. I know I've done Undertale with Undertale. I don't know what else I've done at the top of my head. It's rare though. It seems like it's, it'd be common, but it's, it's really not that common. Or at least I've encountered yet. So this is like one of very few that I've heard. And it says a lot, right? It's like, it's describing the whole game. Which mind you, people consider this game as like their their Bible. Like I know there's people that consider Bloodborne one of the best games of all time, if not the best game of all time. It has that much, you know, power. I've heard it, that I've, that I've heard that, you know? And you know, if, I'm not, I'm not gonna choose sides. Everyone has their own favorite opinions or opinions at the end of the day. But I've just heard so much praise for this game that it's insane. And I can see why. The I thought this game, because I, I always heard about it growing up. I, I, you know, in my 20s is when I started to hear these names. You know, now these games are really, really popular. At their height of their popularity, I would say. Really popular with streamers, you know, challenge runners, speed runners. It's, it's, it's really blown up. But I remember even hearing their name when they first came out. Like, they were popular then because, you know, the idea of like a, a challenging boss game was kind of fresh, I guess. Maybe not. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't hear about it too much. But since I didn't know what it was until recently, I just thought it was a horror game because it's called Bloodborne. And yeah, if I didn't know, if I've never seen, if I've never seen footage and I heard that and I've seen this, I would have still guessed it's like a, like a Resident Evil or something, that kind of thing, like a zombie game. But yeah, I don't know um, what this genre would be called. Back then, you know, times changed. Now people, now th this has spawned their own genre. You know, now people say souls like that kind of thing. But, you know, they weren't saying that when it came out. So, anyways, I'm very curious on this note she was hitting. I am not, I do not have perfect pitch. I am the, far from it. But eventually I can figure out the, the key of the song within like a couple seconds. If you don't know what perfect pitch is, it's like literally people are born with, it's like, they're like aliens. You could, they hear a note and they're like, mm, that's a D minor. Or not D minor, that's a chord. They're, they're like, that's a D. Or, you know, D sharp, something like that. I'm going to guess it's a guess, but I think it's a high note though, so it's hard. It's a high octave. I think that's an E. I could be totally off and it's going to be embarrassing because I'm not going to cut this off. But I think it's a really high E. I'm about to find out right now. Testing, let's see if you can hear this. Yeah, you can hear that. All right, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna have her sing it and then I'm gonna play what I think is the same exact note, which is an E. Let's see if I get exposed here. Oh, that was it? My bad, let me. It's 
note. Wait. C or, D, C or C sharp. One more time. Are you serious? That's the highest C I can use on this keyboard. It's like the high, it's literally the last key on the keyboard. <laughs> well, I was off. Damn. I was off by uh, yeah, quite a bit. <clears throat> That's not too bad. A couple steps. C to E. That's a high note. That's a high note. And, um, wow. To control that amount of air and sustain on that note is so impressive to me. That is great. Awesome. Well, there's not much else to say. Um, I really was looking forward to this one because of all the votes, but also just the self-titled nature of it too. You know, it reminds me of uh, bands, you know, because I listen to a lot of bands and music and groups and all that. And when they will have a song based off of the album, self-titled i think it's the coolest thing ever you know think of master of puppets think of right the lightning think of um one of my favorites ever is the crusade by trivium that song <sighs> that song is just a eight minutes of bliss on your ears but anyways you know there's a lot of there's a lot of groups that do that but i don't hear too much in games if you know any examples of other games that have a title track let me know Maybe I've done more that I can't think of. But right now I can only think of Undertale and Bloodborne. That was great. And uh, if I do a VGM Vibes next year of Halloween, if that series is still going, I will definitely add that there. But thank you for the votes. Thank you to uh, Alex for the request. That was sick. And I need to hear more Bloodborne. Thank you to all the requesters. Thank you to my Patreon members. I couldn't be here without them. Thanks to you for watching. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you later.